Hello again and welcome to another Martin Masterclass. I'm Kat. And I'm JC and we're from Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. Today we're going to be talking about Pie Martin Scats. So today we're going to teach you a little bit about Pie Martin diet. We're going to show you some Pie Martin Scats in all different shapes and sizes. And we're going to teach you how to identify Pie Martin Scat by yourself. So what is a scat? Well, unfortunately, it's not improv jazz. It's actually the faeces or droppings of a carnivore. We can tell a lot about what an animal eats from their scat through a technique called hard part analysis. This is basically picking through the scat to find the remains of things they've eaten. This might be bones. In the case of pine martens, this is often jaw bones of voles and mice as they are quite easily identifiable. It might be seeds from berries, hair from the prey that they usually ingest whole, and occasionally beaks and feathers of small birds. Pine martens will scat strategically around their territory, often paying closer attention to the outskirts or the edges of their territory where they buffer up against other martens. This differs from what other animals will do, such as badgers or polecats. They tend to scat in the same area again and again, and this area is called a latrine. And this territory marking is not subtle. Pine martens are exhibitionists, and they will leave scats in really obvious places. This might be on a fallen log, on big boulders or right in the middle of forestry tracks. And this territory marking makes surveying and monitoring pine martens, which are so elusive, a lot easier for us. And we can use scat surveys to monitor where pine martens are and what areas they're expanding into. So let's dive into the world of poo. So maybe not physically. Pine martin scats are relatively predictable, but they do vary with season. And this is not a fashion trend, but their diet varies with the seasonal availability of food. However, there are many things that are predictable and standard about pine martin scats. Pine martin scats are about 10 centimetres long and around one centimetre wide. The scats usually have a characteristic coil in them, a result of the classic pine martin bum wiggle. The scats are often in one continuous piece, as opposed to fox scat, which tends to be broken into three or four segments. Now, if we carefully get a bit of scat on a stick or pick it up with a gloved hand and give it a sniff, it shouldn't make you want to flush your nose with bleach. It doesn't have that acrid smell of fox or badger scat. Pine martin scat smells a bit like wet dog or damp hay. Some people say it even smells of palmer violets. In short, it's not an unpleasant smell. Now, if you do see a scat, these are the key identifying features to record, but a scale is also really helpful if you're taking a picture to send to us. It can be a biro, a pound coin, anything that helps us figure out the size of the scat from a photo. Because let's be realistic, the sniff test is the best test. Scat surveys are done along a transect, normally about 1.5 kilometres long, and these take place along the forest tracks. Pine martins scat all year round, so we can survey for them whenever we want. However, we tend to survey in early spring, as this is when the scat density is at its lowest, so we get a really good conservative estimate of how many martins are in the area. To do this scat survey, you only need the following things. A clipboard with your transect map, something to record your location on. This could be a GPS unit, a phone app, or even just a map. A phone or a camera to take pictures of any scats you find, and something to show the scale of it, like a biro. And then it's as simple as walking and looking, and that's it. These scats help us work out where the martens are and the areas they're expanding into. Scat surveys also give us a good opportunity to take the time to look for pine martin footprints. Footprints are often hard to find, but if it has been wet the night before or the roadsides are muddy, you might get lucky and see some of these. Or also prints from other wildlife such as deer, boar and badgers. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to survey for pine martens and how to ID their scat. And remember the four S's of scat surveys, size, shape, smell, and scale. We're looking forward to you joining us outside at some point to monitor Pine Martins, and we'll see you soon for another Martin Masterclass. And if you want to know more about this wonderful animal and Project Pine Martin, please visit www.gloucestershirewildlifetrust.co.uk forward slash project-pine-martin.